and howdy, uh, good uh, Saturday to all y'all out there in uh, the YouTube land. Uh, this is uh, Mind of the World with uh, with your host, Jerry Nickel. We are coming to you from the uh, you, uh, Ashley Crangan Studios of the UBS Network. Um, yes, it's um, I'm going to bring back uh, Mind of the World because what is on the mind of the world is this whole Trump situation. Uh, a lot of so-called Christians are pointing fingers at Donald Trump and saying that he's not a Christian. Imagine that. Well, <laughs> uh, yes, these phony baloney Christians like the Pope and uh, Max Licato and some little no-name uh, uh, Anglican priest. Yes, that's right. The Church of England is criticizing one of our presidential candidates. Can you imagine that? Oh, boy. This is... Did you hear that? Well, I sure did. Any, anyhow, no, it's uh, it's an interesting situation. But I'm reminded of one of my uh, childhood uh, heroes, Betty Eckstein, who was the uh, he, she was an advisor to the Western Wranglers 4-H Club, of which I was a member. She used to say that when you when you point a finger. You're pointing three back at yourself. And boy, look at that. Either you are pointing three back at yourself. And when, when Max Licato, the Pope, and pretty much anyone else who has anything rotten to say about Mr. Trump is criticizing uh, his Christianity. Yes, indeed. They are, uh, as, uh, as Mike Brady would say, they're not only... They're not only telling on Mr. Trump, they're telling on themselves, and they're telling themselves that they are a judgmental asshole as well. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Lemon juice. Do not forget lemon juice after this episode. Okay. <laughs> this slipped right on. Didn't? Anyhow. No, it, it's true. Uh, it, we have uh, we have a problem. Um, that uh, and, and, you know, the thing about Trump is that he is making a lot of people taking a, a look uh, inside themselves and inside a lot of uh, other people and they're not liking what they're seeing. And the thing of it is, uh, the Don is, uh, the Donald is telling us a lot about this country that uh, we might not want to hear, but we best listen. Oh, there's things that uh, uh, he is saying that there's a lot of people thinking but are too afraid to articulate. And that's the problem. <laughs> we, have to, you know, we have to get these issues out in the open where we can deal with them and, uh, and, and, and move on somehow. And it's not just a Republican. Believe me, there's Democrats that feel this way too. I know some of them. I know. I know who you are too. Don't you? Don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to point like this now. I'm gonna think about Betty all the time now. Since I can't point like this. Okay. Here's here is the deal. How do we? You know, how, how, how do we handle the Trump situation? I've come across another interesting quote from Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, darkness cannot overcome darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot overcome hate. Only love can do that. So the real answer, the, the only way to handle Donald Trump and his followers properly is love and light. No, no one. <laughs> Have you loved your Trump lately? Well, no, you haven't. <laughs> and t to be honest, neither have I, but we've got to start. Now, does this mean we have to vote for uh, Donald when, uh, when our, uh, if, if, if we are Republican? No, that does not, that's by no means 
<laughs> not at all. But we do have to love him. We have to. And how do we start? We can start. If we are Christians, we can pray for Donald Trump. Now, all y'all atheists out there and, and uh, psychiatrists that keep telling us that uh, Donald is... Uh, what, what What's that word, Lucy, that they keep... Yeah, they keep telling us that Donald Trump is nar narciss narcissistic. Yeah, they uh, these uh, de Satan worshiping psychiatrists and psychologists tell us that uh, Donald Trump is a textbook narcissist. Yeah, narcissist. And so, yeah, apparently that means he, he he's full of himself. <laughs> he's full of something, all right. Oh, ooh, I'm just bad today. Okay. So, yes, we got it. We, all of us who who claim to have Christ in our hearts, if we do, we got to pray for Trump. We got to pray for his followers. We got to show them love, and uh, and then leave the rest up to God. That's and you know, let's not stop there. We got plenty of other presidential candidates that need our prayers as well. Uh, uh, for me personally, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pray for Hillary because right now, if Hillary gets to be president, I'm gonna move to Brazil. <laughs> See everybody else moving to Canada. Yeah, Canada. If 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 Trump gets elected, I don't want to, hell. I don't want to move to Canada. Not if all them liberals going to be up there. I'm going to Brazil, or, or they got them uh, the cute ladies in the in the next in in the in the beautiful uh, bikini bathing suits with the drinks and the umbrellas and whatnot there. So that's that's the, <clears throat> and the beaches and the suntan and oh boy, that's a whole lot better lifestyle than. The, and of course, there are people that need prayer over there. I'm sure. So I'm gonna pray for all the people in Brazil. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. I got to stay in America. I got to stay here with you. So we 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 gotta fix what's going on in this country. We can't we can't take our problems to Brazil or Canada. We gotta stay right here and deal with this stuff. We gotta pray for for Hillary. We gotta pray for uh, Trump. Trump and Hillary, Hillary and Trump. I gotta pray for that uh, Rubio fella and the Canadian. The, what's that Canadian? Cruz. C C Cruz. That's not a Canadian. You sure about that, Lucy? That Canadian dude's name is Cruz. <laughs> uh, right. uh, if Lucy says it, it's got to be true. Uh, that uh, Cruz and uh, that Governor Kasich. Uh, Carson dropped out of the race, but uh, so he he don't need our prayers. He's seen the way. He said, "I ain't going mess with this." Yeah, earlier this week, <laughs> Doctor Carson said that he was hoping that the American voters would wake up. Well, the American voters are hoping that he and he woke up. <laughs> so he's gone. He's he's going back to his uh, doctor's office. <laughs> And I'm sure his patients have been waiting uh, for him to do whatever it is that he does. And so, so that, well, long and the short of it is prayer. We need to pray for for all of our presidential candidates. And as well, as long as we're praying, let's extend it to uh, the guy in there now. Obama may be a lame duck, but he still needs our prayers. He needs, uh, he needs love, and he needs light just as much as Donald or Hillary or, or uh, uh, Rubio or Kasich or uh, or uh, Canadian Cruz, the Canadian guy. <sighs> so uh, there you have it, uh, and that's what's on the mind of the world for. Uh, March 5th, 2016 or 2016. So until next time, God be with you and do the best you can. And uh, hey, get out of my bathroom. You're invading my privacy. <laughs>